Saving for retirement is something that concerns everyone. And the Arkiva Group Personal Pension provides a tax-efficient way to invest some of your salary for later life. Here's how it works. While you're working, you pay some of your salary into your pension fund. You'll benefit from not paying tax on these contributions, and Arkiva pays in too. So it costs you less. And if you already have some pension savings, it may be possible to transfer these into this plan after you've joined. When you retire, you can use your fund to buy an income, also known as an annuity, normally paid every month. Plus, you can take up to a quarter as a cash lump sum, which can really help you start to enjoy your retirement. Now, the government wants to make sure more people are saving for a pension, so they've changed the law. This means that if you don't opt to join the plan yourself, you'll automatically be enrolled into it once you've been employed for three months, if you meet certain criteria. If for any reason you don't want to be in the plan, it's possible to opt out. It's completely your decision, and there are lots of tools and help available so you can make the right choice for you. So, how much should you pay in? Arkiva recognises it's really important to help you save, so they contribute too. For the first two years, if you pay in 2% of your salary each month, then Arkiva will pay 6% into your pension fund. Of course, you can choose to pay in more if you like. After two years, if you pay in 4%, then Arkiva increases their contribution as well to 8%. But you can change back to the lower level if this suits you best. Your contributions are paid through salary sacrifice, so you get extra savings. Think of it as simply exchanging salary for an equivalent non-cash benefit. In this case, your pension payment. You can find out more about how it works and if it's right for you on this website. If you don't want to pay through salary sacrifice, you just need to let us know before you join. OK, let's explain how you, Arkiva and the taxman each do their bit. Let's say you earn £30,000 a year. You pay in 2%, which after tax and national insurance relief is £38 per month. As you receive tax relief, this adds a further £12. Arkiva contributes 6%, £150, and the extra uplift through salary sacrifice is £3.45, a total of £203.45 going into your pension fund each month, but costing you just £38. So where can you invest this money? Since it's a personal pension plan, you're in control of where the money is invested. It can be a difficult decision for people to make, so the plan has a default fund to make it easier for you if you don't want to pick your own investment funds. The default fund has been selected as approximately appropriate for most people in the plan, but it may not necessarily be the best option for you. So, even though you're automatically set up in the default fund, you can always change this in the future if you decide to make your own selections. The regular contributions help your fund grow, but the funds you choose to invest in are also a very important factor. One of the most important issues for you to consider when selecting funds is the level of risk. Each will be categorised by a number. On the level of risk, where are you? The default fund is a medium risk fund. If you do decide to select your own funds, there are over 200 to choose from and there's lots of information on Orbit to help you make your choice. The funds are made up of one or more of these asset classes. They range from low risk types such as cash to higher risk ones like overseas shares so you'll need to make a decision on how much risk is right for you against how each can grow in value. But how do you keep track of your pension fund and if you're saving enough? Well, there are a lot of tools and help available on Orbit. First of all, there's the pension calculator, which can help you estimate your pension income at your retirement age. By simply changing the amount you put in and what age you want to retire, you're able to see how this affects the final value. You can set up regular text and email alerts to help you keep up to date with the value of your pension fund and how your investments are doing. If you'd like to do some research on funds or look at your options in retirement, you can do this in the Knowledge Centre and then use the Funds Centre to help you choose which ones could be right for you. Finally, there's the Retirement Centre, which helps you understand, prepare and plan ahead in the period leading up to your retirement. If you'd like further help on any aspect of the plan, why not take a look at the plan booklet or give the helpline a call? Thanks for watching.